Hi, I'm Landon here at eLearning Brothers and I wanted to show you our new instructional design storyboard template. Now this template is being offered in our free templates area. To get there you're going to go ahead and create a free user account you can see here and then you log into the library. So I'm already looking at the freebies here and you find the template at the very bottom and you'll click on it and then you can just download it straight to your desktop. Now once you've got it on your desktop, you'll notice that uh, I've built it out in a bunch of different master slides as well as different items on each slide. There's seven slides in this template. and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about each of them really quick. We'll only take about three minutes here to go through this. So once we get into this, you, you can see here that uh, we've got a main screen where you can record your main information, course type, audience, projected hours, as well as uh, your document revision history. Now you know it was uh, you build out different storyboards, it's important to have your revision history to know what changes have been made. Now we also have global course information. Now a lot of this information is taken from the style guide as well as uh, con your, your intake uh, meeting with your, with your client. And so this is important information you're going to need as you develop this project out. Or if you send it to a development team or development company, they'll need this information. Now again, I'm not going to read line for line because you can read it when you download it. But I'm just introducing the pages here. You got your table of contents. Now it's important here to have a table of contents because as you build it out, you'll want to know the names of the slides as well as which branching uh, is taking place. Uh, a lot of us now are using our branching in our in our development, so it's important to, to see where it's going. Especially if, when you build it out, it's important to see here in the storyboard what's happening, so you can see it just at a glance what slides are going where. Now on slide five, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because. As you can see there on the stage, I have nothing on the stage. Everything is off stage. So you can look, you can see here, and I've got client notes. This is where you'll record your client information. Then you've got your notes to the developer. That could be you. Again, it could be a development team. So you could include uh, numbers that match the boxes here on the left. I'll show you that here in a second. Your audio, video, graphic instructions, text elements, interactivity, navigation. All of that can be put into this box here. We've got a space for learning objectives, as well as your slide title, chapter name, and number. I've got a place for you to enter in your content gathered from subject matter experts. And we've left the notes area open here, and that's where you're going to put your narration. Uh, if, you have, if you have audio narration, you're going to put it down here in the notes area. So the way that you're going to do this is you're going to take a box and you're going to drag it onto the screen and you can either put an image inside of the box or you can type in the box what you want the image to look like. Again, some of us as instructional designers, uh, we don't necessarily have to do the graphic work. We have a, a graphic design team or developer doing the coding and graphic work for us. So we can go ahead and type in there and they can do it for us. Or you can just uh, go ahead and find your image and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And then you have text boxes. Again, you can drag those onto here, and this is going to be on-screen text. So you can type here uh, what text you want to be on screen. The developer can simply see exactly what you want as far as images and text on the screen. And that's going to look a little bit like this. So we've got a gal coming in on the screen. We've got another image that's going to be on the right-hand side, and here's our on-screen text. And on the right-hand side of the screen here, or off stage, you'll see that I have my notes to my developer. And so it looks a lot like this. Uh, this is the, what you're going to be working with. You go ahead and drag your, your boxes on here, and you'll type your information over here to your developer. And that's it. It's pretty cut and dry, uh, nice and simple. Go ahead and leave comments. If you have any questions for us, you can email me at landonelearningbrothers.com. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy it. Again, it is a freebie from us. And uh, hopefully it works. Have a great day.